The Quick Start Wizard in True Credential Software can do more than guide you through the process of creating and printing a credential. It can do much of it for you. After you sign in to True Credential, the welcome screen prompts you with the Quick Start Wizard. You can either let Quick Start generate a workflow and field connections for you, or you can complete the steps to customize the workflow and field connections for yourself. We recommend using the default selection so that you can sit back and let Quick Start complete these steps for you. Note that if you don't want the welcome screen to appear each time you sign in to True Credential, select the checkbox. You can access the Quick Start Wizard at any time from the Design drop down menu. Click Next to continue. The Select a Credential Design screen gives you three options for starting your design. Use the default template selection to choose from a variety of credential designs. Select your designs if you already have designed one or more credentials that you want to use as the model for the new credential. You can let True Credential create a workflow with an enrollment form and a database table for any existing credential. If you want to create a design from scratch, choose Create a New Design. For this example, we leave the default selection for templates. We want to create a corporate employee ID, so we choose the Corporate ID Employee Template. Type a name for the credential. True Credential will also use this name for the workflow and field connections that Quick Start will create for this credential. Click Next to proceed. Quick Start displays the credential design page. At the top left, you see the name of your credential. At the top right, you see the name of the template that you are using. The main credential design area displays the template design for the front and back of the card. In this case, it's the design for the corporate ID employee template. You can use the design as is or you can modify it. We want to modify this design to use our company logo and to add a return address to the back of the card. The Credential Design page provides easy-to-use tools that make it simple to modify elements on the card or drag and drop new elements onto your design. Let's look at the front side of the card. You can see that the active design layer is the color layer. What does that mean? The design area provides two tabs at the right of the page, a Properties tab and a Layers tab. Click the Layers tab. You can tell that the color layer is active because it is highlighted in gray. You can see that the layer is enabled because its checkbox is selected. Layers must be enabled before they can be active. The templates take care of enabling and activating the layers in the template design for you. Notice the button that looks like an eye to the left of the layer name. This is the Display button. Clicking the Display button toggles the visibility of the layer. Making a layer invisible prevents it from appearing as you design so that you have a clear view of the other layers. This can be helpful with complex designs. Now we want to change the corporate logo on this design, so we click the logo on the card. Notice that True Credential displays the Properties tab for the design element you select. Properties are specific to the design element, which, in this case, is a static graphic field. The properties enable you to select the graphic file you want to display and to specify the exact position for the graphic. The Advanced section for the graphic properties provides opacity and sizing options. We want to keep the logo the same size as the template's logo, so we select Large as possible without distortion. To replace the template's logo with our file, we click Browse and then select our logo. The toolbar at the top of the page provides all of the design elements that you can add to your credential design. Just drag and drop the elements you want to the card. We don't want to add any elements to the front side of the card, but we do want to add a return address to the back side. To design the back side, just click the back side area. The template for this credential has already enabled and activated the black layer, which is the layer we need. 
So we can just drag and drop the text field onto the back side of the card and position it where we want it. We type Return Address in the Field Name text box and select Multiline. We type the address in the Display text field. The Appearance section lets you select the formatting for the text, which we leave as is. With those two simple changes, we're finished designing our employee ID, so we click Complete Quick Start. Quick Start saves the credential design and generates the appropriate workflow and field connections for you. After it is complete, Quick Start displays a message informing you that your credential is ready to use from the home page. If you have not registered any printers with True Credential, the message also displays a button to register a printer. Otherwise, you can click Finish. We click Register a Printer. Complete the fields on the Printer Registration screen. Type a name for the printer and a description. Select your printer model from the drop-down list. True Credential will detect the number of hoppers, so you can leave it blank. Select the checkbox for chip encoding, if appropriate. Select your connection type from the drop-down menu. We select USB. The printer's drop-down menu displays all of the printers available to you. If you have installed your Entrust Data Card Printer driver, you see it listed as XPS Card Printer. We select XPS Card Printer. Click Test Configuration to ensure you entered the information correctly. After it is successful, click Save. Your credential is now ready to use. Click Finish. True Credential displays the credential on the home page. When you point your mouse over the credential, you can see options to enroll an applicant or search for enrollees. Quick Start automatically configured the credential so that you can search any of its fields. To issue a credential, click Enroll to display its workflow. We fill in each of the fields on the Personal Information step and then click Next. We capture a photograph either with the webcam or other capture device or by using a picture from a file. Quick Start automatically configured the devices for use. After we have the photograph, click Next. The last step for this credential is to save or print the personalized credential. We click Print, and the credential is sent to the card printer. This page remains open for you to print again if you wish. That's all there is to it. With the Quick Start Wizard, all you do is select the design you want, and True Credential does the rest to set up the workflow, field connections, and database table, so you can quickly finish.